So this is our before. My name is Ricardo Altieri. This is Bosti. <laughs> we're about to smoke this cut. Okay, he's going to be a pixie. What we're going to do though is we're going to not so much take off a lot of length, but we are. What we are going to do is we're going to transform the shape by moving the weight around. Okay, so this kind of haircutting is actually very much like sculpting. All right. So sculpting is you take off a certain amount to create another area being the more prominent part of that shape. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to take this out. And by taking this out, it's going to throw all of the weight and, and importance of the haircut up into the top. Okay, so we're going to eliminate this to keep the to, to put the focus on the front and the, and the top. And so, you know, this is literally sculpting the hair. So I've started by putting in our amazing spray. What this does is it delivers moisture into the hair shaft. It, it gives hydration into the hair. It detangles. It's filled with nutrients, so it's a leave-in, but your hair is just loving it and drinking it in. And then it's a great cutting solution because it helps us group the hairs together so we can move it around and see the texture that we're working with. So it's called, it's amazing because it is amazing. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to go here. We're going to go here. Maybe we better change the name of that. <laughs> Oh, amazing is good. It's amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. Okay, so the kind of comb that I'm going to work with is a clipper comb. So I like to work with clipper combs uh, when I'm sculpting because it gives me a bigger guard and it, it keeps me from maybe coming around the, the, the shear. It lets me work quicker and it, it keeps things more safe. Um, so when I, when I work with the guy, I'll, I'll usually use a white clipper comb on uh, guys with dark hair, or I'll use a black clipper comb on guys with light hair, so you can see the hair better uh, over the comb. And then on women, when I'm doing this kind of thing, I'll use pink. All right, so we're going to move this around. I'm going to cut freely, and I'll show you how we do it. So we're going to transform this weight. So here we go. I mean, I bet you guys can't wait till you can be that free and that confident getting in there cutting hair. Yeah. Doesn't come easy. We've been doing this for 45 years. So, mm -hmm. a lot behind us, but next Sunday, I mean, next Monday. Are we doing this on Sunday or Monday? Monday. Okay, so next Sunday when I get here, um... Are we doing the class on Sunday or Monday? Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> 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 uh, we still, I need, we need one more model for next Monday. So whoever's thinking about hey, it. Hey, will you shut your face? Well, can you talk and tell them what you're doing? <laughs> okay. There we go. So we're going to move that weight up into the top of the head. Now down here we're going to cut this nice and fringy, short but fringy. Do you want it to be a V? Sure. Yeah. It doesn't Well, somebody else wants it to be. Is it okay? A V? Or vicious? Good, perfect picture here. What kind of shoes are you wearing with that dress? Uh, I don't have my high heels today, but I have boots right now. Okay, put the boots on. <laughs> <laughs> We're going opposite feet. We'll go longer in the corners. Only because her, her hairline sort of telling me to do that. Not easy. Can you find me your right here? Oh, 
You have it. I do have it. <laughs> this one? That's the one. When you buy it in. <laughs> Has anybody seen the movie Ford Ferrari? Yes. Yeah. It's good, right? Oh it's good, right? It looks so inspiring. Yeah, I'm going to go see it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you seen the movie The Irishman? Yes. Bogus, right? No, it was such a good movie. I can't sit in the theater for three and a half hours. <laughs> you watch it at home now. It's on Netflix. Yeah. It's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. <laughs> you can be in your bed for three hours and watch <laughs> Is it good? It's really like good. It. Tree is calling. Or T. Which one? Tammy. Oh, no. Oh, you look so Speaker. I'm, I'm, I'll get back to her. Just answer. <laughs> no. You're playing the game. Oh, you called me. I didn't pick up. Now I call you. You didn't pick no, up. No, that wasn't Tammy. Oh. That was another. Oh, it was somebody else. <laughs> I would let you hear her. Okay. Uh, curves. So when you guys have these curves, here's a good thing that you can do with them. You have the baby curves? Yeah. They're right there. Here they are. Okay. So they're awesome. Look, look. They're great for, like, cutting around right. ears. You know, this way, this way. You can turn them when you want the, 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 the cut to kind of come in, you turn them like this, or if you want to have it come the other way, then you turn them like this. They'll, they'll flip around in your hands. And even the ones that you guys are getting have a tang, but you don't have to, just because the tang is on that side doesn't mean you can't put your thumb in it. We got it. Yeah, cool. I want to show you guys a tip that you guys can use right in school. So we want to cut this closer into the head so that her shape kind of goes short to long. So we're going to come in through here. Now, when you when your scissors are over combing, that's all about over direction. Uh, if you raise it up, you're going to leave the hair longer. If you take, come in tight, the hair is going to be shorter. Um, I'm going to cut it kind of broken. We'll leave this this cool like sideburn like that, and then uh, we'll have this be like real long and full. So that will the, the the back is tight, so this will will offset that. And then when so when you you come in and you you're you're you know how sometimes when you guys are working like the ears in the way. Yeah. Okay, so a good thing to do is. So you come in like this, and then you use the heel of the comb. The heel of the comb holds the hair, ear down. See what mm -hmm. I mean? So it's like, it's all one move, see? Mm -hmm. And then that gets that, that ear out of the way for you. And it's like this, like so. So then you come in. We're angling out long, look, longer. So 
the longer hair has to travel to reach its guideline, the longer it stays. So that means if I came in here like this with a guideline like so, I'd be cutting that short. But because I've chosen to come in with this angle, which is tighter here and longer here, then that's what I'm, it's going to leave me. Then you want to have this come here, and we just want to we want to break it, so we want to create a weight line. We don't want it to go over. I mean, we want it to kind of kind of be broken over it, but it's not. You can't leave it disconnected. It wouldn't look that that great. It would look not like a, a you know a quality finished haircut. And we'll leave all this length. I, I would like to see her hair like getting down to here in the front. That would be really mm -hmm. amazing. So we're going to leave all this length that we can. We're gonna, the, the way that we, that we leave that length is by making this hair travel to the guide, see? If I had a guide here, then see how much I'd cut off? Because I'm not making the hair travel. By, by creating my, my, my guideline here, I'm making this hair travel all the way to there, and therefore it's staying long. Are you guys getting this? Yeah. Yes. How, how it works? Okay. Yeah. So you make the hair travel to where you want it to be. You, that's the way you set up your partings and your cutting lines. So, so in other words, if, in other words, I want this. I want all this front. If it was even longer, I'd make this travel like this. You know what I'm saying? And I'd be cutting it down here like that. <coughs> I'm going to take a little bit of the of the thickness out of this just so it doesn't look um, dated. So, but I'm not going to. Uh, but I'm going to leave some some volume to it. So you can do that in a million different ways. For, for the sake of it, you could do it with scissor over comb and take it out, boom. Or you can pick it up in your hands. But for this for this demonstration, I'm going to I'm going to use the uh, curved shears, and I'm going to show you how they look. See, so look, what? See the curve? I'm going to use the curve. See it? And let those scissors do their thing. I'm going to over direct this back so it stays long into the front. And now I want to just connect this on a really steep line. See? Over direct this front, back. The longer, the longer I make it come back, the longer the front will stay. <laughs> you doing okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> This I'm going to frame out. I like to cut for the bones of the face. So I think what would make her more attractive is just to do a little moderation here. I want this front long, but I want to I want to sort of let her cheekbones come out a little bit like that. See what I mean? And these are just the little tiny things that make the difference in your haircuts as opposed to somebody else's. I mean, in haircutting, the goal is to hide the bad and show the good, mm -hmm. just like makeup. <laughs> so you take what, what's good about the person, and you play it up, and then you take, if there's something that's not, you know, that's not perfect, you play it down. Which way do you like to part your hair? From there to there? Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to do a little asymmetrical on this too. Uh, I love, is that okay? I love asymmetricals uh, because asymmetricals, I was telling, saying earlier, when a haircut is perfectly the same length, it is so hard on your face because it's like, boom, it's hard. It's even. It's, you see what I'm saying? And then also, middle parts. I know a lot of girls will want 
will, will ask you for middle parts. And I do, I do my best to talk them out of middle parts. I, I'm like, I wouldn't do a middle part. I try to talk everybody out of a middle part. I, you know, do a side part, even if it's just off, off center a little bit. And here's why. Because when, a, when you part somebody in the middle, what it does is it basically draws a line down their face. And it's what it's saying subconsciously to the person, all the people that see you, is here, here's a graph, now measure the symmetry of my face. And nobody's got a perfect face, so all the imperfections come jumping out when you have a middle part. But when you have a side part, you can't see everything. So the imagination takes over. It's, I always like equate it with like when you're, you know, if you're a girl, very few people have a perfect body, but there's a lot of girls who know how to dress themselves. You understand? They know, they know how to hide. And they know what to play up. And that's it's the same thing with a haircut and makeup. Okay, this is gonna stay longer and fuller here. But I love asymmetricals because they create movement. The eye the, the eye always moves from short to long. So asymmetricals always have a short to long movement in the hair. See, that's going to be cool. Look, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So chic. Yeah, it, it's kind of like that. She needed that like feminine touch right there, mm -hmm. more or less. Okay, and then we'll we'll get this all moving over here. And we'll have to we'll take the weight out of this. We don't want to we don't want to hold her face down. We want her face to show. She has some great, great cheekbones. We'll show those. And now, here's, here's, here's where I'll stop. And now I'll start directing everything right to here. And we'll create some weight there. Like this. So this will come here. Now I'll, I'll break it with my scissors so it's not hard line. We'll make this travel all the way over here so we have that length. Here it is. So this is what sculpting is. It's taking out, you know, when, you, when you're a sculptor, it's not like clay. Clay isn't really sculpting. Clay is like forming. <coughs> Add clay. When you're cutting hair, you're not like working with clay. You're like working with stone. You have a set amount of substance that you have to create a shape within. And the only way to do that is by taking out part of it to move the weight around to create an illusion. So you guys know, I know that you know this, so when you, you come to a line, if you want it soft, then you go in with your points, right? And then you just... Okay, so now, this, I'm gonna take this all the way down here, see that? And tight. Make it travel long because we want to keep it long. Now I'm just going to cut out the middle. Now I have one last thing to do, and that's this hair is way too long up here. See, uh, that's only going to go flat. So, but I want to keep all this length, so I'm going to angle this from short to long this way. It'll go something like this. So it's still like dense right there, but it just not, it doesn't have like. It, it, well, it's, you see how long it is? Yeah. There's no way that that will stay up. It'll just flatten out. And so it'll look like she has less volume. So what I like to do in a, in a case like this, and this goes for a million different... You know, a lot of girls like volume in their crown, right? Okay. But a lot you guys probably are struggling with, like, I know that if I cut it shorter, I get volume, right? But you're struggling with, how do I cut it shorter and get the volume and not have it 
overly cut, correct? So this is how this is how I'll coach you to do that. So here's there's my pull. So basically that's all this weight taken up, boom. It's right there. That gives me my guide. Now I'll slide it up, but even more, I've got, I'm going to get a little more lift than this. What you're looking for is you're looking for pillars, and I'll explain it. So like when you're on a pier at the ocean, right? How do they keep that, that pier is like a street out in the ocean, right? right? Mm -hmm. How do they keep it up? With pillars, right? So when I want to raise hair up, you can't cut it too short because then you don't have the extension. So what you want to do is you have to support it from underneath. So you take it and you just support it with like little sprockets, okay? Little, little pillars of support. And then those will hold up this next level of pillars. And then up here, we keep the length, but we sort of just lighten it so that it can stay up there. And then we'll go. Oh, these are going to be cute. Then I'm going to go from here. This is a pivot point. I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to take everything up. And I'm going to connect it just like this. Just connection. Then I'll go like another pie section. That comes up. See the difference? Now I connect this. Another pie section. Take this up. Oh, that looks great. Yeah. I'm telling you, eighties hair is coming back in with a with a vengeance right now. Yes. You should do that hair all through the eighties. If it wasn't natural, we'd perm it. Uh, I have curly hair natural curly hair. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, yeah. 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 mm -hmm. She has a question. Mm -hmm. Can you do this around No. She <laughs> Who? Actually, I will next Wednesday. I mean, next Monday. Now we'll just, now we'll take this. And Does that feel light? So see what we did, how we switched the weight around? We took all the weight out of here, which then move the weight up to actually here. We actually didn't, we didn't cut this. We cut this, which then transformed the eye up to here. So what I'm gonna do with her is I'm gonna leave it curly. She's got an awesome curl, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna soften out her bang with the, with a round brush a little bit. And it's gonna be great. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna explain to you guys what this does. This is called love. It's, we call it Miracle Blowout Lotion, and here's why. Literally, when you're working with this stuff, it's like miraculous. The, the, the uh, response that's happening in the hair and, and, and the performance, you can't even believe how smooth this makes the hair. When we were trying it, we couldn't believe it. We, we were just freaking out on this formula that this guy gave us. So, use about that much. It's very expensive, so again, it goes a long, long way. So you don't have to overuse it. You guys know what keratin is? Yeah. So it's got keratin in it. Uh, so it's going to smooth the hair like glass. Why do you think we called it love? Because it'll make you fall. Because you'll love it. Because you'll love it. I don't know. When we were testing it in the salons, 
every hairdresser's like, oh my God, I love it. I love it. I called Rico on the phone. I go, dude, I, I got the I got the name from the Miracle Blowout. And I, he goes, what? I said, I said, love. And he hangs up on me. <laughs> no, he really did. Yeah, then I said, that's You're a like, stupid ass ass name. He, he I did. Ever heard. He said, it's a stupid But I loved it. Heard. That's why so I called me back with another name. <laughs> Do you guys know how to do mermaid bags? Mermaid, 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 mermaid bags? Mermaid. Want me to show you? Yes. yes. Okay. So you don't you don't come in straight like this. And you don't come in sideways, you come in on on 45s, on angles. And you over direct. See, this this part has to stay down to the head, and this is the part that bends. And then when it comes in, it comes. Okay, so okay. that part there is down to the head. See, see, see where it's at? And that, that you're drawing down onto the head. And this, when you really over it's like a massive over direction. Yeah. So I just keep over directing, I bring everything over, and over, and over. And this kind of bang is really flattering on everybody. Is that a good little trick for you guys? Yes. So, you're going to take, you want it to move this way, just like with cutting. Remember how we told you to go away from the way it falls and cut it? It's the same way. You're going to blow it away from the way it falls. The more you blow it over, the more swoop you'll have back. So if you like doing side sweeps, this is the way to go. I myself, when I do hair, I'm always, my goal is always trying to make a woman, when I'm doing women, look pretty. I want it to have an edge and kind of a freshness to it, but I'll never sacrifice somebody's looks to make a statement that's ugly. Where there's a lot of hairdressers who will do a lot of stuff like that. They want to get an impact more than anything. I, I, I want to get an impact, but I, I want this person to look great. I want them to feel great, look great, be soft, pretty. <laughs>
You can use always use the air of your blow dryer as like another hand. Okay, so like in other words, if you're blowing this over and you don't have another hand, use the air to move the hair. So it's just like another hand. Now we'll take some uh, we'll take some pomade and we'll piece this all out. You guys like it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not earth shattering, but a switch, right? Like like the, the way that. See how you just see how the weight just. You can see your curls more too. You see your curl, yeah, because we released them because they weren't so long and being held down. So now I'm going to take our piece out and I'm going to create some pieces. So I'm going to take about that much on my hands. Now the way you use this is really particular too and girls for you guys, for you girls that are are going to end up doing a lot of guys in your career because guys like going to girls. Um, one of the things that I want to share with you is how to use how to use the paste. Most girls when they start using paste they're very shy with it. They're kind of like you got to get in there, okay? Make it a really emulsified in your hands. Put it through your fingers. You can even put a little bit on the back of your hand. And then you're going to come through this. And you're going to literally get it everywhere. And just, your first goal is to spread it. <coughs> through the hair. Get it in the root. Get it on the ends. Don't just put it in one place. Just move it around. And start piecing it. Is the pomade um, matte or shiny? It's like kind of satin, satin, yeah. It's not, it's not totally matte, it's not totally shiny. Okay, so guys that guys that haven't signed up for the class, are you gonna come talk to me? Anybody who hasn't signed up for the class but wants to come, are you gonna come talk? Yes. If you haven't signed up for the class and want to sign up today, please come talk to me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Do you like it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little shorter. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah.